everyone and welcome to today's hair tutorial update. I'm going to show you how I style my hair for photo shoots. Now it is a little bit of a long process for me because I use rollers when my hair is wet and I let it air dry. But if you want it to be a faster process, I would suggest hot rollers to get the same effect in a much shorter period of time. So to begin with, because I haven't had a shower and my hair is dry, I'm going to wet it down. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of treatment as well just to look after it because my hair is very bleached. The other thing is if you do have virgin hair, so hair that hasn't been bleached the fuck out of like mine, I would suggest throwing in a little bit of mousse or something just to hold it in place after it comes out of the rollers. So I would put the mousse in now if need be, but my hair, because it is so blonde, just stays. All right, so the hair doesn't need to be the, to the point where it's dripping. It's just really damp. And when you come out of the shower, if you're gonna put it in rollers as soon as you come out of the shower and you wash your hair, I would suggest towel drying it down as much as possible while keeping it still quite wet. So I'm currently using two different size rollers. This one I put sort of at the front or at the top so it's, it has a little bit more curliness. <laughs> and then these bigger ones I put a bit lower. But you can mix it up. Sometimes I put these all throughout my hair. It gives a bigger wave. Whereas when you use smaller rollers, you get a tighter wave. So I'm just creating a part off to the side there. And then I start putting the rollers in through the front. It doesn't need to be perfect. I sort of grab just random amounts of hair. I don't overthink it. So you don't need to grab the perfect quantity or go at the perfect angle or anything. It's more so just getting your hair into the rollers and that'll be sufficient to get that big curly voluminous look. So this grey one is the same size as the pink one. And then through the top here, I'm just gonna use some smaller rollers. The other thing with rollers is if you do use ones that are slightly bigger and you put them throughout your whole hair, even if your hair is longer, you might not get that 50s, 60s style curl, but you will get a blow wave sort of effect. Now with the back, I don't actually see it. I just feel my way. And like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to get the rollers in. The other thing I sometimes do is I will put my hair in rollers the night before. Now it can be quite difficult to sleep in them. So I'll sort of set them a bit further back and that way I can lie on my side without lying on a roller. It is a little bit uncomfortable and I do try and avoid it, but I think it probably gives the best effect doing it the night before. So my hair is all set in the rollers. It can take two to four hours to wait for it to dry. So I'll sort of time it when I don't have to go out somewhere. So currently I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna answer a few emails, do a bit of housework while my hair sets in the rollers. And then by the time I take it out, it'll be ready to go. So I'll catch you guys back in a few hours. Three hours later. Alrighty, so we're back. It has been three or so hours. And to the touch, my hair feels dry. So I think it's time to remove the curlers. Alrighty. So there's like a quick little look. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it in to shape a little bit more. And I just sort of move it around to give it lots of volume. And there you have it. So my hair does behave and sort of stay where I put it because it is so blonde. But like I said, if you put in a little bit of mousse while it's still wet before the rollers go in, that'll help hold it. And then at the end, also whoop, a hairspray too, just to hold it in place. Sometimes I use hairspray. So I might put in a little bit of hairspray now. I also find that if I've left my hair for a couple of days and I haven't washed it, so I haven't washed my hair since, well, it didn't get washed yesterday. It was washed yesterday or the day before. And I find that if I do leave it unwashed for a couple of days, it sort of does hold the shape a bit better than if it's just been washed. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hairspray in just to hold it in place, give it a little bit more volume. Not too much because then I find that I can't brush it very easily without it getting frizzy. Alrighty, so there is the final look. Alrighty, so that wraps it up for today's hair tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the hairstyle or if you're gonna try it out. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.